Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jack Norton, this is Let's Play Mountain Blade Bannerlord, and it is a game that has my channel logo. Or, well, you know, I can make my channel logo, or, you know, damn near close to it, basically. Glorious. So, Mountain Blade Bannerlord, unless you've been living under a rock, is a long-awaited, um, actually eight years or so, awaited sequel to the last Mountain Blade video game is made by Tail Worlds and people have very mixed opinions on the bloody thing. So uh, let's get into it. Let's uh, let's dive straight in, see what it's like, and um, try and forge our own little story out of the um, well, out of the various things that the game will present us with. So, I've gone ahead and I've created a character off-camera for you. I didn't want you to, um, you know, sit through me selecting his facial hair and his hair for like, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. Um, so, instead, I, uh, I created him and this is what he looks like and I've done the tutorial thing. Uh, so now, we have two quests given by our brother, and this is our sort of, um, I guess, starting little thingamajig. First is to rebuild our own clan, uh, basically earn money and grow our party up to 20, and uh, reach clan tier 1, hire one companion, so on and so forth, like the basic things, and the more immediate one is investigate Nertes's folly. About, uh, Explore Calradia, um, ask any lords about the... Ask any lord or lady about the Empire's recent history. Right, essentially what happened in the eight years between now and the last game. Actually, it was a bit more, I think, because the last game was um, a historical one between, like... Um, well, it was set in, like, the, the sort of Viking um, era of, of England and, and the Norse and, and all of that, but... Uh, it's been longer since we've been to this fictional empire, or this fictional um, area, rather. Not necessarily empire. It is divided among a metric ton of little houses and stuff. I'm assuming the color indicates one faction and the various um, thingamajigs are uh, are the. different people in different dynasties that control these these areas, probably, or maybe just the, the, the city emblems. We're going to find out. Here's the thing, though, that's, that's slightly strange to me. I'm used to, like, the old towns and, and the old map, because, believe it or not, Mountain Blade and CK2 are my two most played games ever of my life. Ever. Yeah. Um, so... Tell you what, let's go ahead and, uh, can I... Ah, see, I'm also used to clicking control space to speed up time on the on the main map, but hey. Um, guess we'll do that later. So, I have a thousand... Denardas are now, they're called. Alright, fair enough. Uh, let's go, go ahead and recruit some troops. How do we do that? Um... And why are there different... Ah, right, so I would need to, like, get my relationships up with the various people in the village so that I can recruit more in that sort of branch thing. I did put recruitment to easy so that, uh, that we didn't have to waste time a lot recruiting things, but everything else is put on realistic. So let's see, we have mountain bandits here. Let's see how it works. Um, haven't played yet off camera at all, so sure, let's go. Fight me if you dare. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outwit them. I'm pretty sure I can do that. Um, but I am going into this game with a Mountain Blade Warband mindset, so maybe I should change that a little bit, who knows. Um, right, movement. 
everyone Forward. there. Alright, this is pretty easy to use, like, from a, a Mountain Blade veteran could... Oh, God. Oh, did that kill me, did it? I probably should have checked my back, but, um... Oh. Well, then. It appears we've lost the battle, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, quite... quite Im Nonetheless, let's see what happens now. It is a story. Uh, mind you, this, this entire experience is about building a story. And your enemies take you prisoner. And we are now prisoners of the Mountain Bandits, currently fleeing from a bunch of peasants? No, no they're not fleeing from a bunch of peasants, alright. After painful delays of being dragged along, you find a, a way to escape. Yeah, I, um... Figured I would. That's, that's usually how it happened. Or how it happens, sorry. Um... So I have an iron spather, some arrows and a hunting bow, and no ability to aim whatsoever in the new game. Also, very little in the way of an ability you can to control my um To control my movement with the horse, but this is something that we will uh, learn eventually, I feel like. Um, speed 4.9, speed 5.3. We will catch up to them, but they might get reinforcements first. Matter of fact, they probably will. Um, right, so if that's the case, let's leave, because there's a Oh, right, so if you click twice, time moves faster. If you click once, time moves slower. Or advances slower, whichever you want, however you want to say that. Right, interesting enough. Um, let's recruit all the troops once again. And uh, we shall gather with us a small levy of some... however many men this is. and attempt to hunt down the various looters and uh, what not that plague the surrounding cities. However, although not really the cities but the countryside, however I do not have any food Let's go and buy some food. Um, interesting. I can buy everything. Well, you know. <laughs> it is an option. Um, can I not sort by... Well, I suppose I could. Alright, good. So, we're going to buy some cheese. And... We're gonna buy. Well, we're gonna buy one cheese. Grain, the cheapest of all foods. We're gonna buy ten of that. And uh, I can't buy any of the armor or anything else. So let's go with. Uh, does this go bad after after some time? I, I'd imagine it does. Probably. Let's... You know what? This'll do. This'll do for now. Enter the smithy. This is where I, I assume I can create my own... Yes! This is where I can create my own weaponry. Of course, now is not the time for that. Um, 
so here's the thing, right? I'm gonna waste all my money on more recruits, and uh, I realized a lot of them deserted me because I didn't have food. This is now sorted. Um, I just didn't know how quickly that would happen. I didn't know they'd desert me immediately, but hey. Um, tell you what, though. I could, I suppose, go back into town for a second. I forgot about something. I cannot go inside the keep. Okay, never mind. Let's go this way, then, and... Uh, Daily gold change. Alright, so there is a daily wage that I need to pay. Not ideal. Um, and because I have food, now I'm slowly regaining hit points after that god awful defeat. Um, I'm hearing surprisingly often from people this is not good. That's a lot of looters. But they're running away from me. Um, should I? I don't want to suffer another embarrassing defeat, but... At times, you can't really help it, right? See if I can't chase them down. Well, we're moving at the same speed, but I reckon I'll... Uh, Okay, that, that's that's not working out. Um, character, leadership. No, I'm looking for um, extra arrows, extra throwing weapon. Let's go with extra arrow because that's apparently how I'm building my character. It, it's in line with his backstory. We'll go with that as well with the bow. I'm looking for movement speed. How doth one acquire said movement speed? It used to be a sort of kind of leadership thing. Pathfinding. I actually don't remember exactly what it was under. But it, it was called pathfinding. Yes, apply the changes. Thank you very much. Um... Fortunately, unfortunately, rather, we cannot... Now, we can disband people here, we also have prisoners, but we cannot um, upgrade any of these just yet. Right, now I'm getting... Uh, like, I've, I've looked up... A astonishing variety of comments regarding this game, and they range from... Yeah, the game's a bit clunky, but it's pretty good. Caravan of... Uh, it's a caravan, never mind. The game's pretty clunky, but it's good. To... It's an overpriced, overpriced even, mess, and I've immediately refunded it, so... I'm... It, the mind is genuinely boggled by the fact that... Uh, I'm not quite sure what to think of this title as a whole. Um, let's see if we can't beat these guys, though, on people's opinions and, uh, and reactions to it, that is. It is an early access, and one must temper his expectations accordingly, but, uh, you know. Let's see. Perhaps I, I am making a bit of a mistake. Take. Let's take the high ground here. Forward! See, what worries me the most is that guy. Okay, I can see some of the performance issues. Right, how about I ignore the guy and I focus on his men? Can I just say, I'm very happy that they didn't change the hotkeys, because like F3, uh, F1, F3 is like instinct at this point, to me at least.
Did I hit him in the head with that arrow? I think I did. Unless I hit one of my men in the arrow with uh, in the arrow. Unless I've hit one of my men in the head with that arrow, which I sort of think he would have died if I did that. Plus, there's no arrows sticking out of anyone's heads. Not that I can see, that is. I will thus conclude that he has been the one shot. Let's dismount, though, and see how... Uh... Well, sword combat pretty much works the same way. Alright. I can see why someone, like, as a first impressions, would, would say that this is just an expensive reskin, but, uh, I don't agree with that. Based with you, this is not a review, this is not a first impression, so I'm going with you, sort of step by step here, if you know what I mean. Um, we will take prisoners, and the guy I hit in the head... Well, first of all, despite being my prisoner, he then he painted his shield with my emblem on it, which is fascinating. Um, I can recruit the prisoner. Amusing. Alright. Um, let's say I'm done with that. Do I have the... Ah, yes, this is what I was looking for. The loot. Well, take all of it. Yeah. Just, uh, just take all of it. And... Um, I'll put on the arm wraps. I need a cloak of sorts. Do they have a cloak? Well, there is a head wrap. I suppose that's something. A rugged gambeson. Armor tier. Armor body nine. Leg armor zero. Yeah, mine's better. Um. It is a alright looking cape though. And yeah, everything else is to be sold in the near future. Okay. Well we've had our first victory, we've had our second battle. Um not a sentence you want to be saying at the uh, at the start of a campaign, but hey, let's see speed. Let's get out of the woods and, and check. Three point seven, three point seven. I need better. Um, better things. Yes. I need better, uh... Lucy, now this is interesting. I'll, I'll think about that in a second. I want to go to the trade screen. And I want to sell all of this. So, I actually kind of like and dislike the trading screen at the minute. Because, on the one hand, I can sell everything that I don't need very quickly, and I can, I can sort of look at all my, um... I can look at all my different pieces of equipment, and I can determine which one I prefer, but... At the same time, if I'm looking for a sword, I need to, like, go through food and shields and horses to get to it, all in the same menu. Mm. It's all right, I suppose. Um, either way would be would be okay. Is, is, is what I mean. Um, so how much did we gain out of it? 143. That is not a lot. That is like that is barely enough for food, plus a little bit extra for wages for the troops. Let's get. A you. Let's get two infantrymen. And now we are slightly more of a threatening force to the local marauders and bandits. Um, that said, I have gained a level, or as they say, I've dinged. Um,
Athletics extra arrows. Did I not pick this already? So maybe not. Okay. Um Personal, personal, party member, party member, not interested. Uh steward, probably not interested. Leadership. Uh none of these are giving me pathfinding. Scouting this one. Ah, there we go, Pathfinder. Good, so I'm gonna focus on this then. Because it is the be all end all of any campaign, more or less. Um, I mean, I can't catch up to the most basic looters. I uh, don't stand a chance in hell of uh, actually doing anything useful. Um, okay. So, considering we cannot catch up to anything just yet, but we do have a moderate amount of protection, let's go and... 4.9, 4.9, 4 4.9. It's interesting how a party of 5, a party of 10, and a party of 6 are moving at the same speed. But, mind you, it's more uh, understandable and interesting. I assume why would uh, more people move slower? It's, well, it used to be a thing. Uh, yeah, Used to be a thing, but... Uh, now I guess we're uh, we're living in a little bit more of a sensible era. Let us go this way then, I suppose. Yeah, but I do need to cross the river somewhere. I suppose and go around the uh, the river as a whole, and let's speed up time doing it. Uh, do you reckon we can catch them as they sort of approach the city and have nowhere to go? No, they're actually faster than me. Okay. Clan Pethros, faction Southern Empire. Let's go to the keep. Uh, right. Obviously, we can't go to the keep. They won't let just anyone in. Understandable. Um, let's go to the Tavern District. Choose the prisoners to be ransomed. Ransom your prisoners. Let, let's ransom our prisoners and visit the Tavern. So, by ransoming prisoners, we actually made some money from the entire battle. We did ransom the prisoner, uh, the um, bandit leader, though, so I suppose that is only fair. Uh, you, the animations look very similar too, which I don't dislike, but I don't know. All right, Tulvo the Lucky, and the, the tavern looks similar as well. It's giving me a nostalgic feel more than um, more than anything else, if I'm honest with you. But. Uh, uh, you have to to realize as well. A game host, can I play? Do you play Talbot? I'm reckoned a master of this game, the traditional pastime of the Empire. If you're interested in playing, take a seat and we'll start. Oh, I think I know how to play this. Can I change the difficulty? Um, easy. Can I change the amount we're betting? Unfortunately, I only rely on betting when I'm playing at my best. Understandable. Uh, I, I keep saying that way too much. I'm going to stop. That looks good. Let's play. Sure. I'll be the attackers. I don't know how to play this. I thought it was a different game. I thought it was a game of, like, checkers, right? But this is not a game of checkers. How do I play this? Tub is a game of attackers, black versus the defenders, white. The attackers outnumber the defenders, but the defenders don't have to capture to win. Their main objective is to secure their king, center pawn. 
The king follows the same movement and capturing rules as the other pawns. Okay. Pawns can move to any tile vertically or horizontally, got it, but they can never jump over other pawns. Simple enough. Pawns cannot move on or over the center tile. Once the king leaves this tile, he can also no longer cross it. Okay, bit convoluted there for not immediately obvious reasons, but we'll, we'll go on. Capturing is done by surrounding an opposing pawn from both sides with your own pawns. Pawns can also be captured by blocking them against the center tile. This works for both players. Right. And finally, the defenders win when they can move their king to any edge of the board. So the king needs to get away. Right. We can't let the king get away, but that is pretty much all there is to it. Um, so if I move here, what he can do is he can go there and capture my pawn. But alternatively, if I go there, he can't do that. Hmm. There's going to be a learning experience. Let's try this. So now if I go there, he can go there and capture. But if I go there, he can't go there and capture. I won't be surrounded. However, that doesn't exactly gain me much either. Going there or there puts me at risk. Two. Going there allows me to capture, though. But it also allows him to move there and capture mine. Let's see what happens. I'm assuming this is the AI sort of let him get off easily. Let's grab this one. Okay, didn't I just capture that one, though? Interesting, why is that one not captured? Because I would have thought that that one... Huh? Okay, so I need to stop the king from being able to, to flee, so that's the only correct... ...course of action, and then this, I suppose. And then down here. And then here. here. So let's say hypothetically I move my... Yeah, then, then he's... Oh, but then I lost. Okay, interesting game. Not interested in playing anymore. Um, so I'm not interested in playing anymore. Oh, right, I'll tab to leave. Judging by the long loading screen, I would, I would, I would say so. Yes. Uh, <laughs> all right, fair enough, fair enough. Let's uh, back to the town centre and uh, d -d 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 leave. I think. Hmm. Speed four point nine. Speed probably. F Ooh, speed 4.9, speed 5. I can catch up to this lot in about 10 years' time. I mean, look, we chased them around for a few days, but eventually we got there. Surrender or die, brigand. You'll never take us alive. Well, it would be extremely profitable if I did, but if I didn't, then, you know, oh well. 
Right, an uh, interesting camera position we're starting in here, so let's, uh... Hmm. Not much of a high ground. Also, not a lot of time to, like, plan out the battle or anything, which is a little bit unfortunate, but okay. Okay. Make sure we keep moving. I'll be the uh, the Mongol horse archer here. Charge! Ow. <laughs> well, we got him. Can't help the feeling that I didn't do all that much, even with headshots, but, you know. Of course, the game is not performing that great, but it's not on my end that the problem lies, but, you know, oh well. Um, what did we lose? An Imperial recruit. Oh well, so. It is inevitable. Hmm. We've captured two looters, and we've got some grain, some fish, and some grapes. That that's good. That's good. Saves me having to buy some. And uh, armor's not that good. Yeah, all well, this will pretty much get sold off. But yeah, fair enough. Right, I guess we're returning to Poros then to, uh... Well, it's still just a caravan. I haven't found a lord yet in, um... In any of these. So let's recruit the, uh... Poor bastard that we lost, along with a highwayman... A oh, highwayman? Infantryman, goddammit. And another recruit, let's say. Um, go off and sell all the armor and weapons that we don't need. But do I not need this? So let's compare it to the Spatha. Um, swing damage 55, cut thrust damage 93. Swing damage 97. Swing damage 55. Swing damage... Oh, sorry, swing speed 97, swing damage 43 cut. Yeah, sickle's not good. Alright. 81 gold. Not great. At all, but, you know. Till we get better men. And until we, um, take on more important foes. And this is all that we have. Recent events minus 9.6 morale for the party. I've got to wonder... Can I get... Well, first of all, I can upgrade some of these. So let's go... Let's go with just infantrymen. Good. And... Uh, I was hoping I can get a sort of more detailed look at the... Um, Myself as a scout for the clan, mostly because, more or less, that's the only thing I can do. Um, but yeah, unlike in the previous game, in this one, from what I've, what I'm able to tell and from what I've heard, you actually have family members to take care of um, along with your companions. So you can actually have like kids, and you can um, like build up a proper dynasty. Crusader King style, rather than just have to deal with the uh, the one character, which I feel like is something that was always missing from uh, from Warband. But you gotta remember as well, like Warband came out all those years ago. This is a little bit eerily similar to that game so far. It does seem like a market improvement on pretty much everything. Quest entry to the castle and go to the Lord's Hall. 
Let's see if we can't find anyone in mildly important there. Because they won't let anyone enter the um, the cities, but apparently the hall of a castle is alright. Imperial Cataphract. Gorgeous looking. Also, I love the way the chainmail moves. Ugh, it is it is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, chair, can I sit on it? Oh, I can sit on the chair. This is we are role playing, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that is that is a beauty. Um I really like the statue too. Okay, so I'm getting distracted. Hi. Good day to you. Yeah, good day to you. Um the camera is mighty finicky though. It, it, it like stutters it when you move around in first person as well. It, it, it's like it feels like a beta, <laughs> if that makes any sense. And now I'm in the bed chambers and you know, nobody's stopping me from being here. That that's this is Mountain Blade, alright. Anyways, let's leave. The access, um like the camera and everything, and the performance, the stutteriness of it as well, it just reeks of early access, but, you know, that's quite understandable. And so we've crossed borders here. <clears throat> Sorry. We're in the Western Empire now. Hmm. Is there a problem with the party? I want a trip of zero. F plenty of food. Gain a few points in stewardship. Okay. Um. I guess next time we'll try and we'll, we'll try and find a proper job. So what does the journal tell me? I need to talk to nobles. I need to do this. Um. Well, I've done that. I need to hire a companion, get some renown, and get some money. Fair enough, I suppose. Okay. Good. For now, this has been part one of uh, Bannerlord. So far, seems like an overall improvement to Mountain Blade Warband, but uh, clunky and in early access. Though... Oh, I've just realised. Sargot. It wasn't called Sargot. And this wasn't called Pravend, it was called Praven. If I remember right. Yeah, and this is the the Vajirs, but now they're called something else. Yeah, the the clans and the all the things are, have different names now, but it's still the same map with the same cities. And these will be like the the sort of uh Muslim desert people that either do nothing for the majority of your game or completely end up owning the um, Rodox. And this wasn't Sargot as well, I don't think. This was Yalen, right? Yeah, it's, uh, th sorry, this is a huge nostalgia trip for me. Um, anyways, Interesting, interesting, but uh, like formulating a proper review in an, or an opinion of this is going to be mighty, mighty difficult. Um, which is kind of why I just decided to, you know, screw. We'll just I'll do a, a let's play of it rather than, than even try and uh, and do something like that. There does seem to be a really large amount of like UI friendliness and streamlining and and. Um, like, missing stuff that the engine couldn't handle years ago that now works better. Um, plus, graphically, the game looks fairly solid. But I was expecting... I don't know. I was expecting it to be a little bit different. Um, not necessarily unpleasantly different, but a little bit just different in the sense of... Um, not sure, like to feel a little bit more modern than 
than Warband. But in like, you know... To have a little bit more like a modern touch on the UI and, and stuff like that. Not that there's necessarily anything wrong with sticking to a nostalgic feeling of the old one. Uh, though I will commend the troop maneuvering and stuff like that. I haven't got into it, but I've seen people play around with formations and stuff like that. You can like preset formations. I just wish that they started a little bit further apart from one another. So you had more time to sort of move your troops around. But take... Um good positions and find good positions of terrain to to hold and stuff like that but anyways yeah interesting so far have fun until next time take care and uh bye bye and yeah i like it so far it's it's interesting it's new and at the end of the day it's getting me to play more mountain blade which ultimately i cannot complain about we'll see how it develops in the future though bye bye